heroism is alive and well, though it doesn't always wear spandex. Heroes in real life rarely look like the almighty supermen or superwomen from books and movies. They might speak different languages, live in different parts of the world, wear different clothes, and belong to different generations. These are people who have leaped into action to save the lives of others and renewed our sense of hope in the process. Sacrificing your life for another's is perhaps the most courageous thing you can do. Here are seven people who did just that, because sometimes you need to know people like that exist. When Air Florida Flight 90 smashed into a frozen lake in the middle of a snowstorm, all but six passengers were killed. Some 20 minutes later, a helicopter arrived to rescue the survivors. After getting one man to safety, the helicopter threw a life ring to Arland Williams, who immediately gave it to the passenger next to him. When the helicopter came back for a third time, he did the same thing again and again. When the helicopter came back a final time, Arland was dead. He'd used his last ounce of strength to save a complete stranger. Richard Rescorla was instrumental in the evacuation of thousands of people during the 9-11 attacks. As the director of security at Morgan Stanley, Rescorla was a strickler for his building safety and held twice yearly evacuation drills to get people out. When the attacks happened and the tower next to Rescorla's was hit, he put his plan into action and calmly instructed people to leave, right up until the moment he was killed. Rescorla's actions were considered instrumental in the successful evacuation of over 2,500 people. Dogs are man's best friend, a title they've damn well earned through years of kicking butt. When a suicidal unnamed Kazakhstani man drunkenly fell asleep on a train track, his ever faithful pet dog knew exactly what needed to be done. The dog used all of its doggy powers, pushing, pulling, and nudging its drunken owner off the tracks to safety. Sadly, this put the dog in harm's way, and it died instantly when it was struck by a train. The Chernobyl explosion is one of the most harrowing examples in history of the danger nuclear power can pose if it isn't kept in check. But the disaster itself could have been much, much worse if it wasn't for the actions of three men. The situation was as follows. A chamber housing a huge piece of radioactive carbon was in danger of melting right through the floor into a pool of water. If that had happened, it would have caused a massive steam explosion, which in turn would have forced thousands of tons of radioactive material into the air. It was quickly decided that someone needed to drain the pool in order to save the lives of potentially millions of human beings. Three men volunteered for the task. Alexei Anonenko, Valery Bezpalov, and Boris Baranov all selflessly opted to leap into the water to open the valve. They later succumbed to the massive doses of radiation they had received while saving the lives of their countrymen. Maximilian Kolbe, a friar, was sent to Auschwitz, a fact which by itself almost describes the bleakness of his situation. Being a man of God, however, Kolbe remained resolute against the Nazis. When they decided that they wanted to starve 10 men to death in order to prove a point, a lot of people were worried, except Kolbe. When one of the prisoners chosen for starvation cried out for his family, Kolba stepped forward and offered to die in his place. He then sang aloud for three weeks to keep up the other men's spirits, until eventually the Nazis decided to kill him with a lethal injection. Kolba was eventually canonized as a saint. Back in 2009, floods ravaged the Philippines. It was at around this time that 18-year-old Mulmer Magallanes 
decided that if nature was going to try and kill people, then it needed to go through him first. When he noticed the rising floodwaters, Momar tied a string to his waist and rescued his entire family, then his neighbors, and then his other neighbors too, because Momar really had it in for the Grim Reaper that day. But it was Momar's last rescue attempt that finally defeated him, already exhausted after rescuing as many as two dozen people. It's reported that Molmar saw a young mother and her baby being dragged by the current. With no regard for the danger he was placing himself in, and perhaps with a lot of regard for his potentially badass tombstone epitaph, Molmar leaped once more into the water to rescue the mother and child before finally succumbing to the current. Dr. Liviu Librescu was a professor at Virginia Tech. If those last two words didn't send a shiver down your spine, they should have. When the deranged teenager Sung Hui Cho started opening fire on random people, Librescu realized that everyone in his class was in danger, and he was having none of it. Holding the door shut, the 76-year-old Romanian managed to stop Cho from forcing his way into the classroom, taking five bullets including a fatal one to the head, in the process. As a direct result of Librescu's actions, all but one of his students managed to escape with their lives. Librescu was widely hailed as a hero as a result of his actions. I hope these stories of courage and sacrifice inspire all of us to do selfless deeds in our own lives. Please share these stories on your social media. Also, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can see the bell icon below. Please click on it to receive notifications of my future videos. I will see you soon and thanks for watching.